Hey everyone, welcome to Tour Validated. My name is DJ Lance, and today I'm joined by a master fitter at Even Roll Golf, Alan, and we are at EREX Studios. We're gonna go through the Even Roll putting experience. Really exciting stuff. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and Alan, thanks for having us. Perfect, thanks DJ. Happy to have you guys in. Thank you for the intro. Excited to put you through the ringer here today with our high-speed cameras, our fitting matrix as well to uh, build you the perfect putter. We're gonna make more putts by the end of this video, so stay tuned. We're gonna get into the tech details, so without further ado, it's go time. Alan ran me through a quick little interview, talked about how I putt, where I think I need improvements, the type of ball I play, and the gamer putter that I have. So where we've ended up now is the EV 5.1. This is gonna be our starting point. So what we'll do first, we do utilize Quintic ball roll analysis here. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a super cool high-speed camera that, that we're able to capture not only your, your putting stroke in high speed, but, but how the golf ball is interacting with the face. Okay. So, so we can um, make that thing roll as efficiently as possible. Let's get five putts with this putter. Okay. Take a look at some, some numbers with the Quintic and, and take it from there. You like to use a line, is that right? Yeah. So, so, so go through your routine and, and uh, that way it's as game-like as possible. Okay, perfect. Nice. So getting that line to tumble end over end for the most part. Yep. Gives yep. us a cool slow motion replay of your putt. It's gonna spit a bunch of numbers at us. And, and for the most part, it's color coded. Yep. So, you know, the red is bad, the green is good. Um, okay. If you get any blue, down here we call that robot level or, or perfect. Perfect. And DJ, do you ever miss on a certain side? Is that a... Typical miss is right. A little bit open, a little yep. bit of push. A little okay. bit of a push. Gotcha. Better putt there. Get that more solid. Very nice. So when you're looking at the data right now, do you already have an idea of where we're going? Generally, for a player like you, you know, usually you're gonna be pretty consistent. Mm -hmm. Very nice. This thing is surprisingly flat. That did not wobble like typical green zoo. That did not. We've done a lot of, a lot of research on the surface that we're using and um, we try to take good care of it. Very nice. So super consistent with, uh, with getting that line to tumble end over end, which yeah. is great. So let's dive into some of these numbers. Obviously some of this stuff is gonna hold a lot more weight than others, okay? Yeah. It really gives us more information than we're, gonna, than we're gonna usually use through a fitting. Yep. But um, this screen here is just the most recent putt that you just hit. Okay. Okay. Everything on the bottom, the five images there, that's gonna be basically what's going on with your putter at impact, okay? okay? As far as hitting your line consistently, the most important number is gonna be bottom left there. So face angle at impact, okay? okay? Negative number is gonna tell us that it's a little shut mm -hmm. to your line. And, and a positive number is gonna tell us that it's a little bit open. Okay, Perfect. so a little bit shut there, that's inside the left edge still, which is great. If we keep moving on to the right here, your heel is about two and a half degrees up in the air, so we'll take a look at that. Um, shaft lean is fairly vertical, and we have a nice positive attack angle. So, stroke is good, you know, player of your level, we're probably not gonna make a whole lot of uh, changes to what you do, mm -hmm. right? Um, so we're just gonna play off of what you do well. Perfect. Um, the last real important number with, with impact is gonna be club twist. That's simply measuring how much deflection you get due to a miss hit. Okay. So if I come through and hit it on the toe, you're gonna deflect, Yep. and vice versa with the heel. Yep. So a little bit opening is telling us that it is a tick out of the toe. Lastly, we're gonna focus in on, on ball roll, okay? So the top right portion of the screen here is measuring the little black dots on the side of the golf ball, okay? So launch angle wise, we're looking for somewhere between one and two degrees generally and that's mostly dependent on the speed of greens you're playing, um, you know, how, how soft they are versus how firm. So something that's gonna be slower, we wanna see a little bit more of a lift. That ball's gonna sit ever so slightly down in a, in a depression in the green. Yeah. So we wanna get that thing lifted and going. Makes sense. Perfect. So moving towards, uh, towards the spin numbers here on the ball, ideally we wanna get some nice instant top spin. Okay. So we wanna mix that lifted launch angle with some top spin roll, okay? On this particular putt, we had a little bit of back spin and uh, almost no side spin. So kind of a knuckleball in that sense. Yep. So let's try out some new stuff and uh, see if we can make these numbers a little bit better. Love it. Change the hosel up, we'll give you a uh, little bit of a change in toe hang and see what happens. But we'll hit about three putts or so and um, see what happens. All right. 
Real big difference here is not only is it upright a little bit, but we've changed the hosel. Mm -hmm. So this is now our short plumber's neck. It, it reduces some of the toe hang compared to the, the short slant that we started with. It's okay. gonna have a little bit more offset and um, usually it frames the path nicely for, for players. Yeah, this looks great already. Nice. It's rolling off the face. Solid. I mean, yeah, I roll numbers are fantastic. So now throughout the process when we test out different putters, loft and lie, length, probably are not gonna change a whole lot. Right. Nice. Those all felt pretty good. Just looking at those three putts, if anything, um, face angles are a little bit more shut. Okay, so it could be the, the added offset that's helping that thing close. Mm -hmm. um, or just a different look in general. Mm -hmm. It's also gonna be a little bit more face balance, which, which will help the face release a little bit more. And a little bit of that into out path still. Yep. So, so let's switch it up a little bit again. Good looking stroke there. It felt solid. Got a little line lock, left it a little short. So by the numbers, probably our best putt yet. Okay. Let's get about two or three more here. Inside at one degree with the face angle, we're getting that lie angle a little bit more flush on the ground. How's this one look to you, DJ? Looks great. Honestly, this one's probably felt the best. Okay. I thought the previous one would be better than this, but now that I've hit it a few times and I, I set it down, I kind of got comfortable real fast. Okay. Love the way that it soles, frames the ball. So we'll see if the numbers back it up. We're now in this these red putts here on the on the far left. Yeah. Face angles all inside a one degree, which is fantastic. Okay. Um, again, this is going to be closest to face balanced. Okay. So probably close to what you're used to. Mm -hmm. um, it has a nice soft offset that's not going to mess with your path too much. So path numbers are super neutral here. Mm -hmm. And as well as your face rotation. So it's basically how fast the toe is releasing. Mm -hmm. We're a little bit slower here with the face rotation which is gonna help hold that face off towards a target. Makes sense. Um, yeah, excellent numbers there so far. So let's see what else we can improve here. Um, if we take a look at the face at a dress, it seems like everything's about a degree to a degree and a half open. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're talking about with aim. Okay. okay. So if we take a look at some different lines, some different colors, um, hopefully we can get that aim and more on top of the hole. Sounds great. So DJ, we started out with the 5.1. Um, we're now into the 5.2 here. A Little bit more uh, focus on some uh, linear aim mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see if that helps you at all. All right, this, this does frame it very nicely. Very nice. One of the cool features of this putter too is, is the empty box in the back. Mm -hmm. You've got the lines, you've got the front piece for, for some uh, more perpendicular aim, but the empty space in the back is a is an easy macro aiming feature for yep. sure. Good looking stroke there. There it is. So again, not gonna change the loft and lie at all. We're kind of figured that that portion of it all out. So instead of being a degree and a half open at a, at a dress, we're closer to about three quarters of a degree. Okay. So definitely some improvement there. Um, let's change some of the colors and possibly the grip and see if we can make it even better. DJ, what we've changed here now is obviously the, the new Tortac grip. It's a little bit on the heavier end, so we added a little bit more to, to the, the head weight basically. Okay. Give it a nice uh, D9 to E1 balance or so. We've brought it down to about 34 and a half just to force your eyes a little bit more over the target line. Love to see it roll like that. Nice. Just hit me two more on the Quintec and, uh, and we'll wrap this up. It's like my buddy's chirping me. It still didn't bother me though. <laughs> Same result. Which is good. We love to see it. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. Square faces at, at address and impact. Excellent. You actually aimed that one slightly left of the target. So nice to see some changes. Yep. Um, 34 and a half, mid slant, EV 5.2 duo. That's it. So this is the gamer. This that's is going to be- That's the one, man. This is the one that's going to take me to the top in 2023. We'll, so. we'll send you all the, all the exact details, but um, 
you're all dialed in. Alan, so if someone wants to come in, experience what I just did, where do they have to go? Perfect, so go to evenroll.com. We have a scheduler on there where you can make an appointment as far in advance as you like. But this is a tour level experience. You know, PGA Tour players come in here, they get the same experience that, that the public gets. So um, we're excited to have you in and um, please book now. We'll have the link in the description below. Check it out, highly recommend, a lot of fun. And hopefully 2023 is gonna be my best putting year yet. So thank you, sir. That's the plan. Appreciate it. Thank <laughs> you.